Hello, praise the Lord. Welcome to the transformative world of daily dose of God's word with Pastor Cherry Sean. Get ready to embark on a journey where the power of God's word meets your life challenges. In this podcast, Pastor Cherry will delve into a profound teaching of faith, motivation, and practical application of biblical wisdom. Be inspired as you listen. Praise the Lord, everybody. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. I welcome each one of you in the beautiful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to this morning podcast. I don't know how many of you really know that we are living in the end times. You know, the church is in the end time and God is preparing his church, the bride, to meet our bridegroom who is our Yeshua. As a church, you might be wondering, what is my assignment during these times? Because every time is an indication, every season is an indication for preparation. You know, what is that one thing that I have to be doing? You know, during this time, what is the Lord expecting out of His church? The Lord is expecting prayer. Prayer prepares you for what God has prepared for you. You know, prayer does not just prepare an answer. It prepares us for an answer. When you pray for revival, God is not just preparing the revival, but He is preparing the church for revival. A revival and that is what you can find in the book of judges chapter 16 verses 26 to 30 you know there is a comparison between samson and the church samson was born anointed he did not get his anointing later on in life the church in the book of acts also did not start without the anointing it was born on the day of pentecost you know samson went against the gates the gates of hell could not prevail against the church you know there are certain similarities that we can actually find out you know when you are anointed your biggest war is not going to be against another church but the spiritual gates and strongholds of the enemy i would want you to know this truth if you are pastoring a church remember you are not called to fight against another church you are called to fight against the strongholds and the principalities of the enemy you know when samson was anointed he sent foxes into the enemy's fields the early church did the same thing and the anointed church does the same thing even today you know we empower young believers you know foxes basically are young believers revivalists and ministers you know samson killed with one job the early church advanced the call of jesus through the job they preached that one gospel and three thousand people were saved on the pentecost till this day we talk about what happened on that day you know god wants us to use our mouth god wants to use our mouth or your mouth but what we find here in this story is that samson compromised and lost his anointing you know, the church went through the darkest age today's compromise becomes tomorrow's chain yesterday's complacency is today's compromise you know we are not called to conform to this world you know but we are called to be transformed by the renewing of our mind you know god never called us to be popular he called us to be powerful you know samson was bound blinded and went in circles you know the dark ages of the church is a church without vision a church without power a church without purpose samson was led to his last victory by a child the youth will play a role in the last days of revival there is a quickening taking place in which god is raising up teenagers and young leaders you know the passion of the young and the wisdom of the old will march the church into the greatest revival it has ever seen you know samson had the greatest victory at the end of his life i believe the church will have the greatest impact on the world in the last days but samson lost his life in the victory but the church will also face its greatest persecution with the greatest revival hitting the philistines did not take samson's life he gave his life away and that will be the prize of the greatest revival which is your life you know this morning i encourage you to pray a prayer where you say lord prepare me for a revival and prepare this revival for me i want to be used for revival in your kingdom this has to be the prayer of every 
every single person every single believer in the church you know what is your prayer this morning is it only about you or is it about the revival or is it about the lord's return or is it about taking the gospel to the uttermost parts of the earth you know think about it and change your prayer may god bless you i will see you soon as we conclude another empowering episode of daily dose of god's word with pastor cherry shawn remember that your journey towards a transformed life has just begun to know more about us check out our social media handles thank you